Hey guys, good morning. So last night I started Butcher and Blackbird by Brienne Weaver last night. Um, so far, I'm enjoying myself. I'm only like 10 to 11 pages in, so I'm not that far in, but it's interesting, you know? Luckily, if you are able to get access to it at a bookstore, it does have a trigger warning. I really appreciate that because sometimes it's really frustrating trying to find trigger warnings for books. I really like that there's a playlist for each chapter. And guys, you could scan a QR code. This is the future. That's the only issue so far. I haven't gone far into any gore or anything very dark yet. But we did have our encounter between Solon and Rowan and they have introduced each other as serial killers who go after serial killers. So I'll probably switch over to Family Lore because I have the audiobook and I'll probably listen to that while I work today. But yeah. I hope everyone's having a good day so far. I'm so sorry. Do I sound so quiet? This is like my morning voice. I have like no voice in general. <laughs> Hey guys, I just wanted to drop in and do a quick reading update while my water boils for my tea. Um, I'm trying out this English breakfast by Trader Joe's. It's okay, it's very weak, so I'm not sure if I would repurchase after I finish up the box, but I didn't want to throw it out and be wasteful. <laughs> I think the bag is very flimsily made so it always falls apart but... right now I'm about one third of the way into family lore and right now I'm, I'm really enjoying it it is very beautifully written and I really enjoy going through everyone's POVs I thought because we get basically the POVs of every woman in the Marte family. So I thought it might be a little overwhelming and a little confusing. But everyone has a very distinct personality and their own individual stories that you really do become invested in. So I will say that I was worried about having so many POVs. But right now, I think it's really interesting to see everything through everyone's different perspective. And everyone is so different in their own individual person that you don't get confused or bogged down about who is who and which story follows which person because they are all individual and distinct women in this family. It is very beautifully written by the way. I will say it is going by a lot faster than I thought it would be. Um, it's only The book is only under 400 pages. But I thought because of there's so many perspectives and so much happening in these three days before the wake that it would be very congested. But so far it doesn't feel that way. Interestingly though, there are sections of the audiobook and the actual physical copy of the book where it feels like antidotes are being added into the story because it part of it is like an interview slash documentary um so sometimes it is a little jarring because for instance one of the um flora's daughter I forgot her name. oh my god i'm so bad at that but flora's daughter has the ability to control control her vagina basically to do whatever she wants and anything she wants as long as it's within that area but she will go on about her magical talents with it. But at the same time, there will be an antidote that is also read in the audiobook about the scientific way that vaginas are separate from the Rita and all that stuff, you know? Like basically just anatomy. It's very jarring for her to discuss her gifts and basically go into the scientific explanation and it like it's that tonal shift that kind of takes you out of the moment sometimes so i will say that is 
a critique I have. I don't know if this is like a writing device that will pay off later in the book, but so far it is a little jarring when we are basically reading or listening <laughs> and you're hearing this beautifully written entry and then suddenly it goes into that. I would say if you have access to the audiobook version of Family Work, either through Audible or Libby or through your library, I would recommend it. It's very beautifully narrated. Um, the author does narrate some sections of the book. The narration adds to the story because it really does feel like you are having this conversation with the characters and you're also hearing their past and their inner monologue and their inner struggles while going through this very difficult time. Um, so I recommend the audiobook. The, the physical version of the book is also very beautifully written, obviously, but I do think I do think the audiobook does add a little something extra to the story. But yeah, I'm going to finish work today. It's Friday, so I have a few more things to do, and then probably switch to Butcher and Blackbird for a change of pace. I'm a little worried about the trigger warnings that were mentioned in the beginning of the book, but. We'll see how that goes. Fuck, it's hot as fuck every time. Even though I know I made a hot drink. Every time. Ugh. My hot pot today, I'm doing one side spicy, one side plain pork broth. On the spicy side, I'm doing tomatoes. And this is enough for two separate pots. So, you can crush garlic on both sides, green onion on both sides. You can do as much as you want. You don't even have to use special broth seasonings like I'm using today, but. You can literally just use like bouillon powder and it'll work out. so expensive now they used to be like a dollar a pack and now they're like <laughs> $2.99 if they aren't on special Yeesh. hairy potatoes or taro root I like adding them to a hot pot they add are a little bit slimy when cooked but you could obviously substitute this for potatoes this is just something i like in particular but you can you can add whatever you want shrimps fish cake fish cake with vegetables and artificial crab This is the fun 
avocado, and beef, the veggies, I prep some fish cakes and crab cakes, corn of choice, bam, quail eggs, taro root, shrimps, tofu, and tuna. And for the broth, we have like Szechuan chili, <laughs> a Szechuan chili based hot pot, and then this is tomato base. Mm -hmm. I got the bear. Poor guy. <laughs> and this is just the glass. I think it'll be a good time. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to heat up all the broth and probably eat and then. It is time for Sunday cleaning. I am going to listen to some more Family Lore on my audiobook and get this done. Finished cleaning. I lit the ceremonial candle of accomplishment <laughs> and I am eating a cornbread cookie. So yum. I wanted to do a quick reading update for family lore. So far, I would say I'm about a little over halfway through. This is a really interesting story. I don't think you have to be Latinx to really appreciate the elements that are being discussed in this story. If you have come from immigrant parents, I think you can see the own patterns of their traumas reflect in the way they raise you and you also see how a lot of things they don't discuss come into play in their attitudes their way they discuss things with you and the sacrifices they're willing to make for you and it is a beautiful story about these generations of women and their struggles and the struggles of their parents in seeing how they take those aspects and reflect on them. And you get a lot of introspection from Ona because this is coming primarily from her perspective of writing the interviews. And seeing her relationship with Floor, her mother, is very interesting. Um, I think anyone who's ever had a similar upbringing as Ona would know that you could always trust your parents or your caretakers unconditionally physically like they would catch you if you jumped off a bridge or you know they're always there for you in that capacity but on an emotional and mental capacity there is that disconnect sometimes and it could cause a great I think generational divide between you know individuals I see it in the women in my family where it's so much struggle and so much sacrifice and you know us telling them you need to take care of yourself you need to like go therapy and things like that but they only know the way that they've known the only way they've grown up and so they only know how to cope the way they know how to cope and it might not necessarily be the way we cope as a newer generation yeah so far i'm enjoying myself i am a little nervous about the way we are like a little over one way away from everything about to go down so I'll eat my cookie, drink some more water, and read a few more chapters before I switch to Butcher and Blackbird. Terrible sleep last night, so I woke up later than normal. But I'm making 
dumplings right now and dopeki and wanted to give a reading update. I'm about halfway through Butcher and Blackbird. I am basically a little always through the gala where Rowan invited Solon to. Y'all, in the second murder in their game, I was not expecting to felt so seen. In one of the murders in Rowan's and Solon's game, Solon is kind of slipping into the past as she's going and delivering a final blow and like her monologue in that scene, I really hit something inside of me that like man i felt like it is something that like i thought it is something like i did not expect to read in a romance book her discussion or her kind of slipping into the past while she's she's there but she's also seeing the trauma and the person who neglected and took advantage of her and lark and her experiencing and going through those emotions of having to give parts away from herself and her justifying like I could cope, I could handle this and realizing that this is also happening to someone she loves the most in the world while the people who are supposed to protect her in this world are kind of have just abandoned her. Yeah, I felt so seen. I felt like crying because I didn't realize like just the visceral rage. Like, it's also like grieving, but the, also the visceral rage that you feel when you discuss these type of things or you're experiencing it kind of slipping into the past for these things is like an emotion that I cannot explain. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna probably, but yeah, I'm probably going to, well, I am. I'm going to finish cooking my dumplings and my dopoki and maybe I'll try to sleep but if I can't sleep I'll read some more and I'll give you an update soon. Dumplings, cheese dopoki, yum. expecting <laughs> to get rizzed out by Rowan guys oh my god <laughs> oh my god I was not expecting that whatsoever <laughs> I was not expecting to root for him so hard <laughs> y'all this is this is like a this is so surprising this is taking me for a wild ride just like <laughs> Like the banter and the humor between Salon and Rowan and how tender he treats her while the juxtaposition of him being the butcher and, and Salon being so methodical but when it comes to Rowan like logical thought doesn't like pass her mind and it, like it's just how about how she feels about him it's just like oh. <laughs> man this is so cute I did not expect to be so like oh, about them Hey guys, just want to do my final check-in and sign off for today's video. Um, I don't know if I mentioned a few days ago, I did finish Family Lore at work. It was... The ending was not what I expected, but also it felt so bittersweet. Um, I feel like I want to give away too much about the ending because it really does accum like accumulate everything that is discussed in the book and the themes and like how the discussion of trauma is handled and grief but also generational trauma i think it does really come together in the end and i don't want to say anything that could potentially ruin it but i do recommend it it's very beautifully written it made me feel so seen in the aspect that if you've ever grown up around immigrant parents or grandparents you understand like this hidden expectation the conflict of being too much of something and not enough for one thing and then not enough for another thing so you're excluded from both of the cultures that you are a part of and it really does affect your relationship not only with your parent or grandparent 
but also how you are experiencing the world because it feels like a dichotomy of being pulled in different directions but at the same time these are both aspects that make you who you are but yeah so i recommend family lore i was not expecting to cry at the end so that was like oh that was really like it was really good i enjoyed that um the next book i read was butcher and blackbird by brianne weaver just expecting a serial killer romance right i wasn't expecting to root for rowan and salone i wasn't expecting to be so like like wooed by either of them and oh my i wasn't expecting to feel so seen in the way that when you're experiencing trauma you sometimes give away parts of yourself in a, as a way to cope right so like the visceral rage of experiencing that and trying to cope in the different ways that you do made me feel like so seen and then like just the anger Sloan Sloan had and like <laughs> and the way like the di okay like the difference between how they are as murderers but also how so tender and like caring they are with each other but also so like witty and like they banter and they like <laughs> it was so good i was not expecting to enjoy as much as i did i mean and like i don't know if something about reading pride like switched something in my brain but like the smut scenes in this book got me going too but you know I don't know. I don't know if it's because I was so already emotionally invested in Salone because of that connection I felt with her. Rowan is so openly brutal and violent. That's why he has the nickname Butcher, right? But like also like how he is so tender and caring for Salone and how like oh, it's like he's and then like the whole like I don't want to mess it up but so he's like doesn't want to say anything so he waits four years and makes this oh, so good. Okay. But yeah, I recommend reading that as well if you have the chance. So I don't know if you guys could hear the rain. It's like pouring right now in California, but we need it. Even though I feel like the depression is seeping back in my body. But, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog. If you like, please like and subscribe and let me know what you read this week. If you did anything fun. I feel like I just had a pretty chill week. I haven't been feeling that well, so I don't know if that translated in the video, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Yay! Bye!